So today I wanted to talk about the Sony a7 II. Is a four-year-old camera still worth it going into 2019? Sony a7 II. Uh, if I recall, it came out in December of 2014, so it is a four-year-old model. And is it worth it going into 2019? The Sony a7 III is out now, the a7R2, the a7R, or I think there is the a7R3, the a7S2, so why would you buy a four-year-old version? Well, for starters, it's on sale right now. Pretty much everywhere has it for $1,000 with the lens, $900 for just the body. And all the other models are gonna be about $1,500 for, I think it's the, a the A7R2 is about $1,500, $1,600. Um, the A7 III is about $2,200. So I mean, it's a fraction of the price. So that's a big savings right there. But is the model itself still worth it even though it is so much cheaper? And the short answer is, depending on what you're doing, yes, it is. Um, if you're going to be doing some filmmaking and you want to get as good quality as you can, you don't have 4K on here, so that could kind of hurt you a little bit. Um, if you want to do really, really slow motion, you don't have 120 frames per second, so again, that could hurt you a little bit. But even at 60 frames per second, the slow motion isn't bad. You can still get pretty good slow motion. Not super slow, does get a little... Uh, shuttery if you go really really slow but it still works but the main thing is I use the camera for photography more than anything and the images come out amazing now granted my skill is still not that great but for what my skill is I feel I can get a better image out of this camera I'm getting really good quality pictures I'm really happy with with the controls on the camera you have four customizable buttons and then the the wheel itself you can customize. I just put the ISO setting on there so I can just scroll through it really quick. The center button on the wheel you can customize. You can put all different settings, white balance, uh, your drive, all that, all on the different customizable buttons. And then just the image quality alone just from the camera. It's an amazing camera. So you have 24.3 megapixels if I remember correctly. And what's to complain about that? Yeah, it's a four-year-old camera, but you still have super, super high megapixels. Not as much as the R, which is 40-something, I forget what exactly, but that camera is also over, uh, I think, 1500, 1600, so you're spending more. But in all honesty, what more do you need? It depends on what you're doing. For, for just wanting to get a good camera, not wanting to get a cheap starter DSLR for three to five hundred dollars, wanting to get into something a little bit better, something you can have a little bit more longevity with, uh, the A7 II is a great camera, and again, it's a thousand dollars. It's really hard to complain with that. And the build quality on the camera is amazing too. Um, I don't ever want to drop it, but I feel like if I was to drop it by accident, I'm not going to scream because it shatters. I feel like it would be able to take a beating. Hopefully that never happens, but that's not the point. Um, the lenses for this camera, there's so many lenses you can get. Now, they're all universal with the A7s, but still, you have such a wide range of what you can get, and new lenses are still coming out. So even though you have a four-year-old camera, you still have longevity out of it. High megapixels, high customizability on the controls, um, the image quality is amazing. Lenses, you have virtually infinite amount of lenses if you take into account adapters. It's just a great camera for a great price. I say go for it. It's on sale right now between, I think, now and January 5th. Take advantage of it while you can, and it might even go on sale past that, but uh, buy one. They're worth it.